Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to record video on Smart PSS. I've got an IP camera connected over the network and here it is um, sh showing here in my grid view. Of course you can do this with multiple cameras if you wanted, but if you want to just use the IP camera along with the free software that we include with all of our products, um, cameras that are compatible or NVRs or TVRs that are compatible with Smart PSS can also be recorded on your computer. So here in this case you'll see that I have my camera stream and if you hover your mouse a little um, title bar appears here and this local record option lets you just do manual recording to your hard drive and it starts recording right there. Now once you want to stop recording you can by just simply pressing it again. You can actually um, hear audio through Smart PSS as well and if your camera is serving up audio it will actually stream through here. Now in this case there is audio coming from this camera and it is being recorded into uh, uh, the camera stream. I'll let you listen in fact there is audio coming there. Now we have the sensitivity turned down to reduce ambient noise. This is really uh, being used only for voice conversations but let me just stop recording and show you how to go and uh, find your video. So if you click on this folder thing here after you finish recording, it'll take you to where the videos are being stored. Now in my case, uh, or, or in the default case, it's always stored on the C drive under Program Files, Smart Professional Surveillance System, Smart PSS Record. And then under the record, you know, if you go back a step, you'll see that there, every time you, you did this recording, it saves a video in a uh, hierarchy of directories based on the IP address, the name of the camera or NVR and the date that you started that recording. So here is the recording for today. I've done a couple and here's the most recent one. If you have a smart player installed already on your computer, all you need to do is simply just double click on it and it'll play the video back. And this is in DAV format. That's the native format. And here you can hear the audio coming from the recorded video. Now if you wanted to convert this uh, file, you simply can uh, by going to this button here on Smart Player and selecting the video you want, selecting what format. We suggest using AVI and begin export. And then you can save it to wherever you want. And we'll save it here to my computer. And I'm just going to create a temp folder on my C drive. And save it in there. And it says export finished. So here's the export and it's saved here. If you want to look at it in detailed view, it's about 20 mags. And if you just double click on it, you can use Windows Media Player to play it back. And let's say if you wanted to use Smart PSS to go back and play back video, you can by going to playback selecting your camera. Um, now if you do this under the device tab it's not going to pull any video what you've stored on your computer. It's going to try to pull it from the device so rather than doing that first press local and that says the software find videos locally on your computer for this camera and for a certain period of time. Now it's very important to note that the video uh, that I've been recording at has been for a timestamp that's possibly different. So let's try and search first. It found that for today's date it has a start time and an end time and tells you the duration and then if you just double click uh, on the file it'll play back that file and you can hear audio from it as well. Now the, um, the cataloging it does is under a DAV file format to preserve uh, time and date information. So I'll show you here in just a second. So everything that's being recorded locally, when you go to local and you do search, it's from the folder names Smart PSS saved under. So if you change these folder names, it'll get rid of its ability to go and fetch that video. And then here, um, these file names have, uh, or files rather, a DAV file, is basically a video envelope with other information like your um, start time and finish time and what camera was it recorded from and such. All that information is needed for Smart uh, PSS to be able to go back and play back and show you video here on the bottom. Thanks for watching this video.